Spiderfoot is an open source intelligence tool used to gather public information from various sources. Now this is a web-based tool and Spiderfoot requires a web server in order to run. So we can start by typing ifconfig to get our own IP address. We'll head up here and we'll grab our IP. Next, we can start by typing sudo spiderfoot-l, where l denotes listening. And we can type down the port and the IP we're looking to listen on. So in this case, it's the IP we just copied. And we're going to put down port 80. And the reason why we put down port 80 is because this is a standard web server port that denotes HTTP. We're good to hit enter. Once this is done, we can just highlight this, click copy, head out to Firefox, and we can paste the results in there, and you'll be presented with a screen. We can see we have no scan history. We're interested in starting a new scan, so we're good to click on that. Now we can type in a new scan name. I'm going to type in test, and for the scan target, we have a multitude of different ones that we can choose, and right off on the right here, it shows exactly how to put the formatting. I'm going to be using a web address. And I'm going to be scanning hackthebox.com. And remember, because this is open source intelligence, we're safe to scan this particular site because it is public information after all. Now moving on to the use cases. There's a few that we can choose from. Firstly, passive. Passive just means we're being passive and we won't engage the target actively. So it's a lot more sneaky and less comprehensive. There are some modules that will mention if a site has been queried and or scanned. So all it's essentially doing is removing those modules so a target won't be flagged that they're being investigated. Next, we have investigate. Investigate is good when you're looking for something that is suspected to be malicious in nature. So we're talking about potential scams, blacklisted websites, or anything that may be correlated to malicious entities. This is a good option to choose. Next, we have footprint. Footprint is simply what a search engine can find on a particular target and their connected entities. So it'll web crawl through all of that information and pull it back and provide a nice view that's easy for you to read. All is just using everything that Fighterfoot has to offer. However, it will be much more slow. I'll be using footprint. Let's hit run scan now. And here are the results. I did stop the scan a little bit early as it will take a long time to complete. Now looking at the summary, it did find a considerable amount of linked URLs and external linked URLs. We also do have APIs that it did find. Now the nice thing about this is we can simply just click on one of these and it will browse and give us more information. So the nice thing about it finding information on APIs is that for pen testers, it gives us information on application integrations, right? So we see it as a potential way in. So as you can see here, we can see something related to Let's Encrypt. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see also something related to Cloudflare, which would be web hosting, right? So it does give us a ton of information of associated integrations. Moving on, if we click on Browse, it'll give us a nice list of other elements that it did find. If we look at HTTP status code, for an example, it'll tell us the status that was returned when navigating to these different directories on the website, so we can see which ones are potentially accessible. Going back to Browse once again, it even found associations with IP addresses, physical addresses, or even the hosting provider, Cloudflare, as seen before. Now it does pull out some email addresses as well. However, I didn't run it long enough, so it looks like it didn't find any in this manner, but it will find a massive amount of information for you to traverse. Moving on to graph. Looking at this graph is it gives us a spider web view of all affiliations towards Hack the Box right now. So if you go to the big red dot, that's of course Hack the Box. If we branch out to a little black dot here, this tells us that the proxy enterprise hackthebox.com has a direct relation to Hack the Box. And this really tells us if something is directly related to Hack the Box or not. Now, one of the scary things about knowing this information is it sets up pen testers for something known as a supply chain attack. 
And essentially what that is, is using a connected third party tool or service in order to infiltrate a particular target. Now we can see that this black dot is connected to hack the box directly. So essentially that tells me that hypothetically, if this IP got compromised and it had privileges and permission on hack the box, then hack the box to be compromised as well. So that's how the supply chain works is using another third party to get at a main target. Or we can also see multiple third parties getting compromised. For example, if Cloudflare hypothetically got compromised, which in turn caused this IP to get compromised, that would then cause hack the box to potentially become compromised. So in these third party attacks, it's always best to sever the connection between that third party that was compromised until an assessment can be done. Lastly, we can go to scan settings, which gives us information on the scan and even the different types of modules that were used and if they were successful or not. And if we head out to settings at the top here, it even allows you to import different API keys. If you have any subscriptionist abuse, IPDB or abstract API, you're welcome to add it in here and it will utilize those as well. Thank you very much for watching.